Making a Chef is brought to you by Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Mississippi and Methodist Senior Services. Your classic American breakfast. Just think about that, all right? Right now, we're focusing on the egg part. So there's plenty of ways to do eggs. You can scramble them. You can do them over easy. You can do, you know, a frittata, which is actually what we're going to do right now. A frittata is kind of like a baked omelet, except it's a whole lot less stressful. So I'm going to show you how to do it. First of all, it's a nine inch pan heating up, and I have eight eggs in a bowl. I'm going to start whisking those together till they're all combined, and then I'm going to season them with salt and pepper. So the reason I really do love frittata is because this is a kind of, you know, dump and go. You can put anything in here. We're going vegetarian. We have frozen spinach, frozen onion, pre-shredded cheese, and salsa, just store-bought salsa. And so that's all simple. You can wake up, you know, 6.30 for the kids are going, or if you're a kid and wake up at 6.30 for school, whip this together, go take a shower, go get your morning going, go feed the dogs, whatever. Come back and it's done. It's so simple. Teaspoon or so, I actually, I lied, tablespoon. This is eight eggs. You need plenty of salt. Tablespoon of salt. And then I like heavy on black pepper. And so fine grinds of black pepper because you don't want this to burn in the oven. I like heavy black pepper. Okay, about a minute later, that's a lot of black pepper, so I'm gonna mix it in. Mmm, that looks good. So, I'm gonna add the frozen spinach and the frozen onion. About a quarter of a cup and a half a cup. I'm just gonna let that caramelize and get out all the extra moisture, especially in the spinach. Spinach is a sucker for holding moisture. They love it. So you kinda gotta get it all out. Now while that's going, I'm gonna go ahead and add the salsa. This is a corn salsa variety. Mm. You are not limited to just these simple ingredients. Again, this is a dump and go. Whatever you have left over, anything, dump and go. I cannot stress that enough. All right, that has a little bit of color on it, just what I want. So, add in the eggs and salsa. Mix it around a little bit and cook it till it just sets up. You still want it to be floppy on the top, like eggs, but you want it to be set up on the bottom like scrambled eggs. You don't want to set up all the way on the top, otherwise you won't have a clean, crisp finish on top. This is just about there. I'm starting to see little bits of scrambled eggs come up in the liquid. I'm gonna let this go maybe another two, three minutes, but this should take five to seven minutes max. You don't really want to go more than that. All right, this looks perfect. Nice, crispy edges. There's a solid crust in the bottom. So, I have about a cup of pre-shredded cheese, and I'm gonna add three quarters of a cup, and I'm gonna mix it in that. All right, I'm gonna leave the rest for the on top. All right, try to get, you know, as so much of a crust as you can with cheese. Kill the heat. Put this in a 375 degree oven for you know 10 to 15 minutes until it's set up. Remember, if it's cooked in the oven, it's overcooked on the plate. So pull it out while it's still a little wobbly and juicy on top. Mm, this is perfect. You know, probably could have come out maybe 25 seconds earlier, but I don't know if you can see, it has a little bit of a jiggle to it. It's not fully set up. Again, eggs done in the oven or in the pan are overcooked on the table. Let it cool for you know 10 minutes till the wobble's gone and you can cut it without it falling apart. Then Bob's your uncle and you're ready to go. Hey y'all, I hope you liked it. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe and turn on the little notification bell right by the subscribe button. Thank y'all for watching. I'll see you next time.